Hey everybody, it's Monday morning. I'm gonna kind of ramble a little bit. I'm first gonna show you my everyday carry. You know, my uh, Streamlight wedge, flashlight always. And then today, uh, of course, I gotta clean this. Now you'll see it. I haven't cleaned it yet. You hear that? Okay, I gotta clean that out. It's got a bunch of beach sand in it. You can see it right there on the scales. I gotta get it out of there, lube it up. That's the conditions, man. So that's my uh, Spyderco Delica 4. Love this knife. So I'm gonna clean that up, put that right over there. I'm also carrying my SOG Stout FLK Blackout. This is that D2 Steel. I did a short on this the other day. Maybe I'll do another one. It's a great everyday carry. It is a frame lock. Nice flipper. And I got this down in my left pocket. Uh, I'm not using the deep carry pocket clip. I'm just dropping it down in my pants. That's what I like to do. See the size of it? It's a very sharp knife. And then my fixed blade for the day. And I'm carrying this in my front pocket instead of... Uh, it's a boot type knife or belt clip. This is the... Uh, I don't talk about this much. And I have thrown this one uh, a good 2,000 times in my playground on the board y'all see me do the uh, sog pentagon fx well this is the little brother i'm going to do a short video on this one this afternoon this is the pentagon sog pentagon covert okay it comes in this nice uh, it's a glass reinforced nylon sheath it has a nice metal clip there for optional carry This has a Cryo CPM S35EN steel with a black tinny coat. The scales are G10, very textured. And see this right here? This covert, the scales remove on it like I showed y'all on the Pentagon FX. They're all removable, so you can wrap it in paracord, uh, keep it flat. In your carry. See, it's got nice jipping along here. It's very sharp, very pointy. It's sharp on both sides. It is a dagger. In fact, in a second, let me, uh, yeah, let me see some. I got, I don't have a, uh, see if this works without tearing it up. I don't have a Torx bit set here, and I should have a spare without leave it to sog yeah if you're out in the field i got me a straw i mean a small straight slot right here okay that's able to take out this torx bit let's see if i can show you all this real quick but this is how you take the scales off set that there don't want to lose anything here and you remove that side. So you now remove the bolts and this just slides, watch this, just slides right off. I'm trying to show you all this. This side slides right off. And there you go. Isn't that cool? That's a real thin carry. Now these small bolts right here these are torques also. I don't have that size here, but you take those off. You want to take those off. And uh, that's a neat way to carry too. And it fits right in the sheath like that without the, uh, the scales on it. So, and when you put this back, I know I'm rambling. See, that's how you see the little, I've shown this before, but you see those little uh, key slots right there, the scales. That fits over these uh, bolts right here. And you'll slide it in. I ought to do this later, but what the hell, you know. And then you'll take this one and slide it in. Like so. And there you go. Put your bolt back in. I highly recommend the Covert. I really do. This is one of my favorite knives. I'm going to show you something else about it. 
once I get this back in. I won't do that again with a straight slot. It's just, uh, I didn't have my Torx bit. And I happen to have this screwdriver right here, fixing to do electrical work. And that seems to work just fine on that. Yep, I'll, I'll make sure that's all okay when I get home. But look at the jipping all around this knife. And it's just a nice texture G10 grip. I mean, scales grip. Really cool size. Let me hold it up to my... Uh, here, where is it? Here it is. That's up against the Delica 4. Great boot knife. Great boot knife size. Highly recommend it. Fantastic. I'm doing a short on that. I'm also, this is going to be my throw today in the playground. I'll take notes. Got the Delica 4. Got this SOG Stout frame lock. There. I want to show y'all something. I just had a brain fart a while ago. Back at the end of January, I had to get my tag renewed. So I went up to the tag place to renew it. Went inside, got it done, no problem. In and out in 10 minutes. Came out to my truck and I had locked my keys in my truck. Yep, I locked my keys in my truck and I couldn't get in. So the back window, the back sliding, sliding window, and it's like a club cab type truck. The sliding window I was able to open up. I couldn't get quite in there to reach all the way through to lift the lock up. So I had called my wife. She was going to have to go by the house, get the extra spare keys, and uh, come meet me there. So what was going to be a nice little trip to get my tag and then on my way home, it turned out I was out there waiting. As I was waiting, I was went out. There's little woods right there. I'm rambling. That's okay. There's little woods out there. And I found me a long stick, and I was able to pop that lock off. Don't ask me how I got in there and turned and, and whatever. I got the lock off. So, what I didn't show you the other day. See, so this is my keys and my ridge key case. What I did, I forgot to show y'all. I had this cavity tray by ridge. And I've always kept my challenge coins in there that I like. This is cool, man. I'm fixing to show you something. So, just a while ago, I always kept the spare key here at work for my truck. That doesn't do me any good. You know, when I lock my keys in. So, I had this spare key hanging up there. I cut this rubber, the plastic off of it. So, I got the blank. I went out and tested it in my truck. It works. I cut it off with that true replaceable knife blade. I don't want to hurt my other blades. So I use this utility knife, but it cut that. It cut this right off. So this works. Now look at here. There's my spare key in my wallet, in my front pocket, to my truck, in my Ridge wallet. I'm so tickled with that. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm got priority right now. Let's go. Uh, Clean this out. A spider code Delica 4. Hope y'all have a good uh, Monday. And I had a hard time this weekend. I guess you guys that have been in this for a while. I just had a... March is a bad month for me anyway. It's tough for me. And we're almost done with it. Y'all know the story on that. But uh, this weekend, I just couldn't get the mojo really up and going on uh, my channel here. I'm, I apologize. I'm trying to get... I got a lot of content. I got a lot of stuff to continue to share. Uh, I wanted to show you that little tray there, a little bit there, and then this. So, I'll be on a roll. Y'all take care. I guess that happens. Just kind of, got to kind of take a break from it, I guess. And uh, that's what I did. And I still watch your channels. I appreciate it. Okay, I can see right now I've gone nine minutes. I got to get to work. Y'all take care and sog out.